Well, hello and welcome. And for today's little adventure, I'm taking another walk from Newton Beach across Newton Burrows to Merthyr Mawr Dunes. Very similar to the one I did last summer. But this time, I'm taking a different route. I'm taking the path over the top of the limestone ridgeway from where you get really good views across the Somerset and Devon. Well, saying that, it's a bit overcast and misty at the moment, so fingers crossed it may brighten up later. And that's the amazing thing about this area. However many times you walk it, you can always find a new route, a different path, and you'll always find, come across something new. And it's, even in the height of summer, or a bank holiday, you're never gonna bump into many people. Also, it'll be interesting to see how it compares this time of year, which is late winter into spring, to the height of summer when I did it last time. A lot of tourists come down the M4 and they miss out this part of Wales, thinking it's industrial, there's not much to see, and they carry on going to West Wales. And they don't realise how much open countryside and natural beauty we've got along this stretch of coast. So if you are visiting Wales, take a, a day out to come and visit this stretch of coast near Porthcore, South Wales. You'll be surprised. Anyway, I'm starting today's walk at Newton Point. Newton Bay itself used to be a busy little harbour until they built the docks in Porthcore. And on the western side of the bay, where the caravans now stand, used to be a warehouse, and that was built in the 1600s. In 1798, it was converted into a bathing house, and then around 1880, an inn owner from Powell, William Richards, converted it into Tea Cork, an inn. Tea Cork meaning red house. Have a look at these photographs when it was called, when it was a ruin, it was called the Old Red House. That pipe on the left, at low tide, if you look carefully, you can still find it. I've got some footage here I took a few days ago at low tide. Also, it's interesting to point out, have a look at the point itself, how much sand there was in the area. We're gonna start heading east along the coastal path for about half a mile. Then we get to a T-junction in the path and we're gonna head inland towards the houses you can see on the hill known as Wigbach. Quite easy to spot until we get to an open area which used to be the old firing range. So that's where we're going first. Before I turn off the coastal path and head inland and up over the ridgeway, have a look at this painting. It's from 1768 and you can find it in the National Museum of Wales. It was painted from roughly this location, looking towards Newton Bay and over to Newton Point. And if you look carefully, in the background, you can see the old warehouse. Look at the amount of sand that was in the area as well and the size of the dunes. If you compare the way the dunes look now to that painting, you can see there's much more vegetation and plants and trees on the dunes. There are a number of paths through the dunes, but some of them do flood after heavy rain. So, but there's always an alternative route to find. Anyway, as you come across, there's, like I said, there's a number of paths, but if you head towards the houses over there on the hill, and just before you get there, you will come across 
an open area that used to be the firing range. And from there, we're gonna turn east again up over the ridgeway. As you can see, the route I've chosen is still a bit flooded. <laughs> ah. I think I'll look for another route. <laughs> So as promised, you can find an alternative route without getting too muddy. And I've made it to the open area, which is part of the old rifle range. And you can see more about that in the video I made back in the summer when I walked this part of the dunes. And in that walk, we went to the left of that big hill over there. But this time, we're going straight up over the top. So you need to be fit. But if you've made it this far, you're fit enough to go over there. Let's go. So that's the path up to Wigvar. That's the path to Murthamar, where we're going. And that's the path to the beach. The one I was trying to take, but was flooded. So this path takes you past the target area of the old rifle range. As I mentioned, uh, I did this in more detail in the summer walk. So have a look at that. There's still quite a lot to see if you haven't been here. So I've made it to the top of the limestone ridge. In the background, you can see Newton Bay and Porthcore. And from here, we continue straight across the ridge, eastwards towards Murthamara. So what I'll do, there's no more commentary from me until we get to Murthamara. I'll just show you some of the beautiful countryside in this area, from Newton Burrows to the Murthamara Dunes.
Well, I finally made it to Merthyr Mawr and I'm at the bottom of the Big Dipper. I mentioned that in my previous video when I came in search of the lost windmill of Merthyr Mawr. Have a look at that if you haven't seen it. The weather's far nicer today than it was then. So anyway, have a look. Here's the, the Big Dipper. So what I'm going to do next is walk along the path to Merthyr car park, then head back through the dunes, which is parallel to the River Ogmore, to the beach, then back along the beach to Newton. So I've made it to Merthyr Mawr car park and just behind the car park you'll find Candleston Castle. I've done a few videos about that place before, I'll put the links below, very interesting, have a look, as well as the history, some spooky ghost stories too, so have a look at those. So now it's back across the dunes to the beach and back along the beach to Newton. Well, the weather's certainly better than it was during my last visit to the dunes. Well, look at this old structure. It's only about 10 minutes from the main car park. I'll put the coordinates up so you can find it. Apparently it's meant to be from the old volunteer rifle range, which shows up on the OS map dating from 1877. They think it could be some form of marker's hut or some form of shelter. So as you can see, I've left the rifle range, I've walked across the dunes, and behind me over there, that's the River Ogmore. Just up there is Ogmore Castle, which I've done a video about. Another plug, put that below. So I'm going to walk down to the riverbank, then down to the mouth of the river, which is about 200 yards, then back along the beach to Newton. When you do this walk, you, know, you can follow my route, or just go and explore. You can do it 50, 100 times, and there's so many different paths and different valleys and different dunes. You know, you'll find something new every time. And if you do get lost, climb to a top of a dune. On one side, you've got the ridgeway. The other side, you've got the beach. Then on the far side, you've got the river. So you're always going to recognise something. So come and do it. So one of the reasons I chose to come this way, because on the Historic Wales website, they said there's evidence of a medieval settlement on the riverbank, and there was a wall protruding from the dunes. So I've come to the, the location marked, and I can't find anything. So I'm either not at the right place, or it's gone, it's been recovered by sand, 
So if you know where this place is, it's only not far from the, the beach. Never mind, you can't find them all. This area looks like it changes quite often between the high tides and the wind blown sand. Things get exposed and covered up probably quite a lot. Just because there's not much on Merthyr now, it hasn't always been that way. There's been a lot of finds dating back to the Neolithic times, Bronze Age period, and also Roman pottery and jewellery. And if you want to look for some of these yourself, the best time is after a storm. These are the dunes coming in from Merthyr to the beach. And after a storm, you often get erosion and these are cut straight down and you can see the layers. So if you have to pick through some of those layers, you never know what you might discover. As you can probably hear, it's getting very windy now, but I'm walking back along the beach. At low tide, if you walk to the water's edge, you may be able to see some of the World War II coastal defenses. There's a couple of rows of metal poles sticking out of the sand, which probably were used to stop invading forces, or probably strung with wires and things. Well, that was another walk from Newton, across Newton Burrows, over to Merthyr to the River Ogmore and back again. As I mentioned earlier, every time I do this walk, I come across something new. And this time it was that building by the rifle range. If you haven't seen my other videos about Merthyr in the area, have a look at those, the links are below. I'll also put some at the end of this video. And if you haven't been to the area, come down. Now we can travel again a bit more. Come down and take a walk. It's never very busy, so it's the perfect place to come, especially with the spring and summer coming. So until next time, that's a bye from me, and I'll see you in the video coming up shortly. Bye.